Hi friend, it's Hunter from Interactive and in today's video we'll go over UV unwrapping the bottle. Now the main reason you want to UV unwrap a bottle is so that we don't get stretched textures when we're applying say labels or textures to this bottle. Now in this case we probably don't need to UV unwrap it, however we're going to add some displacement to the base of it rather than modeling it and we'll add some details in here that we need to UV unwrap to control where those details will sit. If you're new or an intermediate user of Blender, chances are you don't know all the shortcuts and you're going into menus constantly to use the tools that you want to use. So I've put together a hotkey PDF so you can pick and choose the shortcuts you use day to day and implement them to help speed up your workflow inside of Blender. You can download this PDF down below for free at the link in the description. Let's move on to the video. Now if you're new to UV unwrapping, the best way to explain it is by using a cube. So in object mode here and under the UV editing tab, I can go shift A and go to mesh and add a cube. Now this is quite large, so we could scale this down just in edit mode. We just need this for example. I just moved across to the side and now we can use tab or come up to here to go into edit mode and you can see straight away that this is our UV unwrapped cube and so this is sort of like say origami where we're unfolding an object and in this case everything is connected and the best way to see which face is actually which on the UV side here is to turn on this option here and this is called UV sync selection so with that selected it'll turn blue and we can go over to the faces here and select a face and so you can see that this face here is this face here and then we can work our railway around the cube and you can see that each of these faces over here represents a face over here except it has been unfolded for us to apply textures to and we can actually export this to another software like Photoshop through going here UV export UV layer and then we can add graphics to this as with more control so now let's do this to our bottle let's go back to object mode press X and delete the cube and in a couple videos back I showed you how to model this bottle and now what we can do is just select the bottle go object to edit mode here and you can see the mesh here and so by default this is quite messy and I've actually reset my UVs so if you press A to select all or you can go select all here you can select all the mesh and then you can go to UV and reset and that'll create this layout here. Now the first option you may want to play around with is UV Smart Project. So we'll click that and just using the default settings we'll hit OK. And so you can see here that it has unwrapped our bottle here and if we turn on that live link we can select the areas of our bottle to see what is what and right now it's actually done a very good job so this is probably the inside of the bottle we can see that by going to x-ray mode up here and we'll just turn on that so yeah so that's the inside of the bottle that section there and this is the outside and it has separated all these pieces into separate pieces and we can select the linked pieces together by just hovering over it and pressing L and so you can see here if I press L over a couple of these we'll find out which sec sections are from which however I don't want my UV to look like this so what I'm going to do is actually deselect everything I'm going to turn off my live link I'm going to press A and we'll start working out what we want to do with this let's turn off x-ray mode and now I'll need my edge selection here. Let's go to edge select. Let's deselect everything. Then we'll alt click the edge here 
and we'll start selecting some of the edges that I want to split up. So maybe I want to split this one here and cut it there and there. And then we can go to UV mark seam. And we'll keep doing this. So I will probably go here. I'll add another one there. You can use Alt and Shift to select two at the same time and go UV mark seam. I'll mark a seam on the inside, UV mark seam. The next one I want to add is in here. Now to see this a little bit better, I will go to my modifier and turn off this option here, which shows the modifier in edit mode. And I'll select this loop and this loop. And another way to access this menu quickly is just to press U and we can go mark seam. We'll do this one. We'll do these two edges here. U mark seam. I'll do the inside edge here and the top edge there. This inside edge. Now we also need to do the inside, so I'll grab this edge down in there. U mark seam. And we'll turn X ray mode back on. And we'll have a look in here. Let's grab this one, mark these two seams. U mark seam. Come down, it's a little bit hard to see in here, but I want to mark this one here, the bottom one, like so. You mark seam. And now with all those seams marked, what we can do, turn off this. Let's go back and do solid view. I can select all, pressing A, and I can do U, and just go to UV mapping, and then just straight unwrap. So this is what's going to happen here. And the reason that some of this is happening, if we turn on our link, we can select some of these faces and have a look at maybe what they are. So that's that face there. It's because we also need to add a cut straight down the back side. So let's click here. And I'm just clicking on the Y. If I press one, I'll look on the negative Y. So I want it to be on the opposite side of this. So let's go and click the negative Y. It'll flip us around. We can deselect everything and then hold Alt. And we need to be in edge select. So we'll go over here. You can also press 2. I'll click that. And what we can do here is with that edge selected, you can go U, mark seam, A, U, and we'll go unwrap everything again. And now you can see here, we've got a much better unwrapped UV. So most of this I will not need. I'll need the base here. So if I select some of these faces here to find out what it is, so it's that one there. So what I can do here is uh, select the linked L and we can go G, I'll just move it over here. Now what I want to do is I'll use an add-on. So I'll go N and we want to add it in here. So we'll go to edit preferences and I'll put a link to this one down below. We'll go to add-ons, install, navigate to where the add-on is saved. And this one is called down here, UV squares. Let's install the add-on and check it to apply it. And now what we can do is N and we want to go to grid by shape and we'll come up with an option here. We need to uh, disable this option here and then we'll select this and go to grid by shape. And so you can see there that it's straightened out our shape. We'll rotate this 90 degrees, scale it up a bit. And then I can also select everything and I'll start selecting some of the linked things that I don't need. So I also need uh, this little bit of strip here, which is here. So if I select everything, I need this strip here, L, and we'll do the same thing, two grid by shape. So we need to keep this one. This one here is also one that we need to keep. If we have a look, so this one here is our outside of our bottle. So if I select everything and grab all of that, then I'll hover over here, press L, press L. Then we can go select and invert the selection. 
And this is everything that I sort of don't need. So I'll just scale this down really small and stick it up in the corner. And then I'll rotate this to match the orientation. So the small bits on top, let's rotate that around by 90, something like that. We'll rotate this one around and we'll just line these sort of on top of each other. Just sort of make them the same size. And I can drag this down here, scale it up like so. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm just going to select all, go UV and export the UV layout. And you'll just save that somewhere for the next video, which we'll call it the UV layout. I'll just add one, export. And in the next video, we'll go over how to create bump maps for our UV layouts. All right, don't forget to download the Blender Hotkey PDF to start learning some of those shortcuts and I'll see you in the next video.